Hey guys, Luna here, welcome back to another Elden Ring quest guide video. With a guide on fully completing the Dung Eater quest line that will award you his armor and weapon like you can see on the screen. And you will also get the Great Ruin for his secret ending. So there's not a lot of detail for this quest, but there is lots of running about. Also, the quest will go a lot quicker if you complete the Millicent quest line and the Volcanic Manor missions, specifically Raya's quest first. So check those videos out before you do this one. Okay, let's jump into it. After reaching Leandal, Dung Eater will show up in the round hold table. You need to get him a seedbed curse. You can collect the first one from the Leandal near the East Capital Rampart and you can bring it to him. And for this video I will show you most of the way to go in these seedbed locations because they are extremely confusing. But after you get him his seedbed curse and speaking with Dung Eater, he asks you to find his real body, which is located in a cell in the sewers of the capital. From the avenue balcony, go downstairs and jump down on the right hand side to a well, and you can follow this all the way to a grace point and continue from there to find him. After talking with him in his cell, return to the round hole table and a message will be where he was before, telling you to travel to the moat of the capital ramparts. Go there easily from the outer wall battlegrounds and then you will be invaded by him around the moat area. Defeat him to get his awesome Sword of Milos. Talk to him again in the round hold table, then collect the remaining seedbed curses. So the seedbed curse 2 is near the west capital rampart. You drop down and head into the castle. You can go all the way through until you find it. Seedbed Curse 3 is at the bottom of the Volcanic Manor. You will need a Stone Sword key in order to access it, and you will also need to proceed with the start of the Raya missions as part of the larger Volcanic Manor quest, so you make sure that you check out that video if you want to know where exactly to go. But make your way to the Temple of Ilge and go from there. Seedbed Curse 4 and 5 are near the prayer room in the Halig Tree. Again, if you follow the Millicent questline video, you come exactly to this room in order to meet her, so make sure you follow that questline first in order to get to this part. But follow where I go to get the two remaining Seedbed Curses. The 
Return to Dung Eater in his cell beneath the capital and give him the remaining seedbed curses to finish off the quest and receive the mending ruin of the fell curse, the item needed for his secret ending. Reload the area and return to him and you will get his armor set on his body. So after this, the only thing you'll have to do is when you get to the end of the game, you can use his fell curse for the blessing of despair ending. And that ends the Dung Eater questline and how to get this secret ending in game and his awesome armor and weapon as well. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe for more Elden Ring content. I'm still trying to figure out the Nefeli questline, which nobody seems to have done. There are still a few other NPCs to cover for their quest as well. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.